Andrew Tate becomes Muslim. True or false? <laughs> Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Now there is this a video about Andrew Chait's praying in the mosque. And mashallah, that's good. The problem with the reaction of people on the video is this: Muslims at one side are very happy. To the extent, uh, are very happy that Andrew Tate goes to the mosque, and I'm not saying all Muslims, yeah, are very happy to the fact that Andrew Tate observes his prayer in the mosque. And because of the happiness, some people among the Muslims have become over happy to the extent that they are saying that now Andrew Tate is a Muslim, he's now a Muslim, you know. And maybe one of the reasons that they have, uh, because of his previous statement about Islam, yeah, though not all his statements that were true, you understand. And the other hand is that we have non-Muslims who just do not want to believe the fact or ever agree that Andrew Tate would ever become Muslim. So what they also say is, hey, it's not true. He's not a Muslim. He, he will never be a Muslim. You are lying. He will never be a Muslim. Hey, the guy is deceiving you guys. He's just doing it for the fame. He, you understand? So they, those non-Muslims today, today are there. You understand? And today, today, their hope is that it should never be true that that guy becomes a Muslim. Therefore, no, he, they are trying to bring any reason to, to just say that it is not true. You understand? No. Now, what is it? Is it true or is false? You understand? Is it true that Andrew Tate is a Muslim or is false? Now, the thing is this. The brother who took him to the mosque for them both to pray in the mosque came out with a clarification about what it is. Was it, did he really accept Islam or not? And at the end of this video, I'll read, it, which I'll read the entire document with you. Now, basically, what the document states is that, no, he's not actually a Muslim, but he wanted to have experience of how it feels like to pray as a Muslim. You understand? So, the brother, they've actually talked about the issue, and then um, he got to a time they had to go to the mosque, and then they went to pray. And Andrew Chait is not the first person to have prayed in the mosque. We have Anthony Joshua, who's not a Muslim. He also prayed in the mosque when he went to Dubai. So, when Andrew Chait also got there at Dubai, he also was trained his friend or the brother who he went there with to pray there and until we hear from him his experience or how he feels about it and his intention as to whether he'll become Muslim or not it's something that we leave it to the future I have one thing for Muslims the point is that as Muslims we must be happy or we would be happy if Andrew Tate become Muslim you understand because as at the time of the Prophet Wasallam, there were people who were influential and when they accepted Islam, it was something that was pleasing to Muslims and was pleasing to, you know, uh, the, uh, the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. So we, we have examples like Umar ibn Khattab, we have examples like Abu Sufyan and other respected and influential people who accepted Islam. So if you have someone who is influential, becomes Muslim, it's not a bad thing. If you are happy about it, it's not haram, you understand? Now the danger part of it is <clears throat> we feeling like because he has become a Muslim, it shows that Islam is true religion. <laughs> you understand? When we think like that, it means we are tying the truthfulness to one person. So what if tomorrow he leaves Islam? Therefore, Islam is false. <laughs> so what it means is basically is that we need to understand that when Andrew Tate becomes Muslims, Alhamdulillah, we are happy. But whether he, if he doesn't become Muslim, it has nothing to do with our Islam. We are still Muslims, even without Andrew Chait, you understand? And number three, when he becomes Muslim, it's not a sign that Islam is a true religion. Islam is beyond one person, I hope you understand. So we need to understand this as Muslims and a lot of people are his fans. A lot of people are following him, you understand? If you're a Muslim and you wish good for another individual and you pray for him that may Allah give him guidance, it's not a bad thing, it's a good thing. And you can do it for any of your non-Muslim friend, family or whatever, you understand? To the non-Muslims, a lot of non-Muslims, I know some Muslims who also have this kind of idea and that, ah, Andrew Tate is just faking you, he just wants more views, he just wants to trend, he just wants to do this and then we are judging his intention, you understand, which is very, very dangerous as Muslims. Huh? Uh -huh. So as Muslims, niya or intention is something that you and I cannot predict. We can only say that this is a sign of this, this is a sign of 
and truthfulness. This is a sign of not having good intention. This is a sign of this. Is a, but you can't vividly say that the person was doing it for fake views. He was doing it for views. He was doing it for fame. He was doing it for people to just know him more or to win the, the love of Muslims. Now, you and I as Muslims, you cannot put yourself in a position as an intention judge. You understand? Uh, so as a Muslim, you don't put yourself there. If you hope and pray goodness for him, but you don't say that he's, you know, he's very wrong, uh -huh. you can't determine a person's what is in the person's heart. So you and I know, as at the time of the Prophet, uh, I'm, not, I'm not quoting the hadith, I'm paraphrasing it, you understand? So the Sahaba came and told the Prophet, and so one way at the war, and so and so made an uh, intention to take Shahada. And then we still killed him because yeah, we believe that he, 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 he was trying to take Shahada because he didn't have any option. Because he saw that he cannot escape death. He cannot escape we attacking him. He cannot e escape death. That is why he just fake to take the Shahada and then we killed him. So the Prophet asked them that. How do you know if he's faking it? How do you know if he's lying? Do you, have you, do you know his intention? Do you know what is in his heart? So the Prophet actually, um, you know, rebooked them. Is that the right term? He actually rebooked them for that. And it's something that is serious, you understand? So as a Muslim, you don't put yourself in the position of judging others. And yeah, he's doing it for this, he's doing it for... As far as the person has done, you do husn zon. You think good about the person, and that is it. That is it. You pray for the person. So one thing we have is this. One, we will be happy if Anutit become Muslim. But two, we should not tie our Islam with him. Three, as a non-Muslim, Stop worrying yourself if someone becomes a Muslim or not. But we look at it and get inspired and also become Muslim probably, inshallah. So let's go and then read the clarification from you know um, the brother who took Andrew Tate, who prayed with Andrew Tate in the mosque. So if this is your first time, kindly follow my Facebook page and then go subscribe to my YouTube channel. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. هنا مروا وكانوا قدوة لنا